What's that? That vibration? Hey, wait. Someone is coming. You... You haven't given up yet? Oh, it's all over for us. What do you mean? I just received a message from my boss. This space colony arc is currently approaching the Earth at an incredible velocity. It probably will impact Earth. What's that on the screen? This is a death sentence for every human being on Earth. If my calculations are correct, the space colony are will impact the Earth in 27 minutes and 53 seconds. All of you will be destroyed, along with your beloved planet Earth. Stop it right now, or else... I'd have done this a long time ago if I had the chance. What do you mean? You're pretty persistent for a hedgehog, aren't you? You're still alive. <laughs> Just letting Knuckles pilot the shuttle on the way over here was more dangerous than you could ever be. What is this? This is my grandfather's diary. I don't quite know what happened or what went wrong. Was it a mistake to create the ultimate life form? I thought it would be something that would benefit mankind, but then the military guards landed on the colony that day. They were sent to destroy the research project that I had been working on. My colleagues at the research facility, my granddaughter, Maria, I hope you are all safe. The colony was completely was shut down, down, probably to keep probably the prototype keep the from falling into the wrong hands. Into the wrong hands. The art was shut down under the premise that there had been an accident. I found Maria's name among those who died when the art was shut down. She meant everything to me, and I couldn't bear the thought that she died because of my research. I lost everything. I had nothing more to live for. I went insane. All I could think about was to avenge her. Somehow, some way. I got scared as I no longer was able to control my thoughts. All I could think about was that I wanted it all to be. Based on my original projections, I was able to complete my project. Sha I designed its mind. To be perfect, pure, I will leave everything to him. If you wish, release and awaken it to if the you world. wish to fill the world with destruction. Oh, so that's why you released Shadow from the base. The core of the Eclipse Cannon is now highly reactive and explosive. This is because the Chaos Emerald is overpowered. If the colony collides with Earth, it will shatter into pieces like my grandfather predicted. That mad scientist! That should be you, right? We have to stop the space colony now! The space colony arc position may have shifted due to the amount of energy given off by the emeralds. We have to stop the energy. But how? Hmm, that's it. 
there is a way to stop the energy. We have to use your emerald. You're the one that told me that the master emerald has the power to stop the chaos emerald. That's right. If I use this, I just might be able to stop the chaos emerald. The reaction of the chaos emeralds is moving toward the cannon's core. It may be too late. There still may be some time left. If we pull together, we might be able to get to the shortcut that leads to the core. Let's get to work! Alright! So, welcome to the final episode, probably a two-parter, not sure if it's a two-parter, of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. We are having the last episode, the last, this is the final part of the game. And... Goodbye. I can't wait to finish this Let's Play and get to the final boss battle because it's like my favorite thing in this game. Um, so yeah, uh, the final result is that Gerald Robotnik is fucking insane and he wants to crash the colony into the planet. Um, there are a few problems I have with that though. And again, I know nitpicking in a Sonic game, what am I doing? But, um, does anyone else find it odd when there is a journal of a crazy person and they're not crazy in the journal, but they're well aware that they're crazy to begin with, so it's like, um, oh no, what? just happened um but yeah does anyone else get annoyed with the fact that the crazy person isn't crazy in the journal they written after they went crazy does that does that bother anyone else or is it really just me like <laughs> i don't understand gerald how could you write in a coherent level of thought the, the journal sounds fine if a bit depressing but i don't understand how he could come to that level of uh what's the word uh I want to say cohesion, but I know that's wrong. That level of comprehension, if you went crazy, like, you know, it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. How do you do that? Okay. Did, did he temporarily come out of being crazy to write his journal? Like, is that how that worked? Like, is that how that works? But, yeah, so he went crazy, decided he wanted to, uh, crashed the space station into the friggin' planet, decided that that probably wasn't a great idea. Well, we decided that probably wasn't a great idea. Eggman decided that probably wasn't the best idea. Still did it anyway, but you know, whatever. I guess that's how the heroes work in this game. Or the, how the bad guys work in this game. Anyway, we have officially cleared Tails' first little section here, and we're going to move on to Eggman, I believe. Yep. And essentially, the final boss in this game revolves around manipulating time. Or the final levels in these game revolve around manipulating these little time switches and playing every character in a long flash gauntlet down to the cannon's core. And that's every character but Shadow, actually. Um, Shadow has his own little uh, thing that we'll get to. Come on, Jens. Can't be hiding in your bodies forever. Shadow has his own little boss fight that basically completes the uh, experience. Um, but he does not have his own stage. Every other character has their own little stage that they want to uh, run through. Um, and Tails's was uh, the easiest. Eggman's is probably the most annoying. If you do not have Knuckles' ability to, uh, you know, breathe underwater. Um, after this, we go to Rouge, and then Knuckles, and then Sonic, I believe. Uh, damn it. 
Damn it! Come on, come on. Yay! But after this, it's Rouge Knuckle Sonic, and then we go for the final gauntlet boss fight, which might be a second part. I'm not sure. It depends on how quickly we run through this one. Uh, I'm recording this also at 3 in the morning, so that might also have a little bit to do with how much I get done. Because I have to go pick up a friend of mine at work. So I figured I may as well kill some time and get a recording out for you guys. Plus, this is going to be up on Tuesday, and I'm recording this on Monday morning, Sunday night. So, to you guys, it won't matter. Oh, also, fun fact. Those little blue guys, you can actually destroy them without waiting for their thing to, uh... You can destroy them without waiting for them to come out of their little blue... Uh, body armor. If time is frozen. Also, freezing time is how you get a uh, better score in this game. Rouge and Knuckles are located centrally in this room, and for Rouge, what you want to do is <coughs> she has a little climbing puzzle, basically. And you want to get up to the top button, or the top uh, platform, basically. And you want to hit a switch. And that switch is going to drain all the water into this room. If I remember correctly, you have to fly through... One of these, uh... Particular... You have to fly through one of these, um... And... I'm pretty sure it's that one. Could be wrong. Nope. Oop, that hurt. Uh, the problem with this, uh, the problem with getting through this area is you have to basically hit that switch, like, at the perfect time. Here I come. Hey, cool, invincibility. Screw you. Hit that switch. Well, I'd love to, Eggman, but you kind of have me, you know, trapped, or <laughs> stuck. All right, wait for it, wait for it, and damn it. Damn it! This is a little bit tricky. Ah, so close! This is a little bit trickier than you might think. Thankfully, I can at least hit that one, but if you can get out in one go, definitely worth it. And we're just gonna flip the switch and start filling through with water. And you remember back in Aquatic Mine why I told you you would absolutely need the uh, air necklace? Yeah, um, you definitely need the air necklace to uh, get through this part, at least easily, because, um, the entire water, the entire level is underwater. Uh, minor issue. <laughs> and if I remember correctly, I have to get through there. Question is how? I think I have to throw the switch again. Thankfully, the air necklace allows you to... Uh, pretty much hang out underwater indefinitely. And I can't get through the lasers. No! Am I supposed to go in here? Maybe. I don't think so. Could be wrong. Because this is where Rouge was. Ow. It's over. It is over, Knuckles. No, Eggman, I can't hear you. So we want to open that door, but we have to find the switch to do it. I don't exactly remember where the switch is. This is the one part of the, the this is the one part of the last level that I legitimately have the most trouble with. F for a few reasons. One, I always forget what I'm supposed to do in this level. Like always. 
I don't know if I'm supposed to go in here. I think I'm supposed to go in here. But I could be wrong. Because this is where Rouge is supposed to go. Yep, didn't make it. Ugh. I could be wrong, though. Because, like I said, I don't remember where I'm supposed to go with the Knuckles one. This is the one that I always block out of my brain, because 9 times out of 10, I forget to get the, uh... The, uh... <laughs> the right power-up. You know, I forget the aquatic necklace, so then I basically have to rush through this level. If I remember, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get through that laser gate. Um, I just don't remember where the switch is to open it. And you know, on another note, I don't necessarily have to uh, stop time to get out there. It just makes it a lot easier for me. But if you go in there, you get to do some fun stuff. Like Rouge's area again. I'm supposed to go in there, but don't remember how to get there. Because if I stop time, it doesn't let me go through. And there's a switch I'm supposed to hit to um, stop the lasers, I think. And I just I don't remember where it is. Let's see, am I supposed to do something out here? I feel like I'm supposed to do something out here first. Oh yeah. Yep, okay. There we go. So I'm not gonna E-rank this, but I am gonna show you kind of what you're supposed to do. Yep. So, now that we drop those, we swim through here. Oh, great. Well, at least he's not... A, at least he's not attacking us with his arms. But just throw that switch, jump through there. Oh, yeah. Gotta find the time stopper thingy. Where are you be, Time Stopper? Where are you be? Oh yeah, here we are. Come on, we can make it, we can make it. We made it, yeah! Oh no, lasers! No! Lasers are bad! Ah! Okay. Gotta find the other waters. Hey, look, it's big! So there's your big sighting. Gotta find the other switch. Where's the other switch? I bet you it's up here. Bet you it's up here. Oh, uh, uh, they do make this possible to do if you don't get the aquatic necklace because you have the, um, there it is. You have, uh, as you can see, the, uh, air bubbles that'll just sit there. So you can do this without the aquatic necklace. Um, doing it without the aquatic necklace, however, that one's going to be a doozy. That one won't take you a little while. But hey, look, we found the switch. System alert. System alert. Binary security lock system terminated. Initiate final defense system. And we're going to wrap this up episode, up this section of the episode with Sonic, and then we're going to rush into the final boss fights. I didn't do the right thing! Well, of course he is, Eggman. I didn't do a right thing! I didn't do a right thing!
Damn it, will you just... That's why I don't like the somersault for attacking things. Uh-huh. Oh. Right. That's a thing. You know, those things are fun to fight if you have the light speed dash. Absolutely terrible to fight if you have literally anything else. Ugh! It's okay. I promise I'm good at this game. Somewhere. Destroy that thing. Destroy that thing. Run through that thing. Go this way. Pop that thing. Nope. Destroy that thing. Freeze time. Under here. This is very similar to uh, Sonic Adventure. This reminds me very much of Sonic Adventure. Yeah. And it's the end! I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, with this final cutscene, I will leave you with it, and I will hope to catch you on the next yeah, episode maybe. when we finish the game. It's all going according to plan. There's no reason for me to help them. Besides, there's no way to save anyone. There has to be. I know that people fight over the most trivial things. Some people may be selfish, like the professor said. But they're basically good if they try their best and never give up on their wishes. They always have a reason to be happy. That's why you should help them out. Saving them is a good thing. Shadow, I beg you, please do it for them. Give them a chance. Shadow, I beg of you, please do it for me. For Maria. the future, for all people who live on that planet, give them a chance to be happy. Let them live for their dreams. Shadow. I know you can do it. That's the reason why you were brought into this world. Sayonara, Shadow, the Hedgehog. I promised her. And I must keep that promise. That's Shadow? what I really wished for. I've got to go now. I have to keep my promise to Maria. And you.